Last week, an Albany Supreme Court judge granted a preliminary injunction pausing all card licenses from getting approved. The Office of Cannabis Management submitted a list of names that they believe should be exempt from the injunction. Well, today, another hearing was held to see if those exemptions were granted. Two on your side's Keelan Barry. Keelan Berrien joins us now <laughs> to see how that went. Keelan. Yeah, Barry Alice, you know, like we said in the last half hour, I shared with you all that 23 out of the 30 names on this list were approved for exemption. The remaining seven are not because they're delivery services. And, you know, cannabis attorney Elise Burgo says the plaintiffs are trying to exclude delivery services from the injunction. That's why she believes that this lawsuit isn't about being excluded from a program. It's over real estate. She says Carmen Fior, the lead plaintiff in the lawsuit, is trying to have her dispensary located in Long Island, which according to Bergio, Long Island is only allowing four locations to open. And out of those locations, Bergio says Long Island isn't letting someone with card operate. Now, there's only certain cities and municipalities allowing dispensaries to open. And even then, those who have an operating license still have many stipulations to follow. So it makes real estate scarce for a dispensary to be built in New York City state. But if none of the applications got exempt, it would have frustrated Bergio because the, the judge could have reviewed more regulations and ruled card as unconstitutional, which card program was created to help those with prior marijuana convictions. She says if this was deemed unconstitutional, that could mean not only those who are waiting for that final approval, but also operating businesses will have to stop and close. Well, it's real estate is what's driving this whole lawsuit. Mm -hmm. If there was accessible real estate in these areas, you know, we might not have lawsuits, but because there's such this one, we have all these opted out cities. You know, if CARD is deemed unconstitutional, Bergio fails to see anyone applying in the general application. She expects the general to open October 12th. Another hearing is scheduled for September 15th to see if the other seven applications will be exempt. On your side in the studio, Keelan Berry and Channel 2 News.